This video demonstration is brought to you by Heart Internet, the UK's number one reseller hosting company. Hi there, Craig from Heart Internet here. Today I'll be showing you how to purchase and also set up an Exchange 2010 mailbox. Here we are on the front page, so let's log in. Exchange mailboxes are classed as an add-on product. What that means is all you need to have in your account to buy one is a domain name. So on the menu on the right hand side, under order, we're going to select add-ons. And we want an exchange box, so we're going to select the product on the left here. Exchange mailboxes are suitable for all customers, but I think they'll be of particular interest to those who want to keep their life synchronised across multiple devices, or businesses who want to share and update their calendars and task lists on the fly, and people who just want to have a, a really big mailbox. I'm going to be purchasing a mailbox for my domain name, which is craigcotter.co.uk, so I'm going to select it from the drop-down box here. And we also need a username, so on the left, I'm just going to enter Exchange. OK, I'm happy with that, and that will give me the email address exchange at craigcotter.co.uk, and I'm going to hit Add to Basket. We can then check this out as normal, either with this link here, or via the View Shopping Basket link at the top right-hand corner. OK and we'll just proceed okay your order is successful so let's take a look at our new purchase on the menu on the right hand side under the manage headings we're going to select add-ons and then from there we can select exchange mailboxes here exchange mailboxes come with a free copy of Outlook 2010 and you can download that here Notice it's available in 32-bit and 64-bit versions. Exchange also has a built-in webmail system, which is known as Outlook Web Access, or OWA for short. You can log in directly by clicking your mailbox here, or manually via the link at the top of the screen here. On this page, you can also view a size report of your mailboxes, change your passwords, or delete any mailboxes which are no longer required. So, let's get on to setting up our mailbox in Outlook. We have our exchange set up to support auto discover. This makes setting up your mailbox extremely easy. And this should work in nearly all instances. And there is a step-by-step -step guide available here. But I'm going to run you through it anyway. Just in case you have any problems. So let's start by opening our control panel. And then selecting the mail option. OK, and we need to add a new profile, so we're going to click Add. And I'm going to call it Craig's Mail. The name here is whatever you want it to be. OK, we don't want to set up that email address just at the moment. And we're going to be setting up exchange at craigcotter.co.uk. And we're going to enter the password we have set up as well and with auto discover that should be all that's required now what it's doing is searching for settings on the net and there we go and we just need to enter the password again to remember our credentials and hit OK. And that's that. The exchange account's now set up. But let's say that didn't work and you needed to set it up manually. I'm going to remove that. Yep, we'll remove it from the system and we're going to press Add again. Again, we're going to name the profile Craig's Mail and we're going to hit OK. But this time we're going to select Manually Configure Server Settings or Additional Server Types. And the next page, we're going to select Microsoft Exchange or Compatible Service. And in the server field, we're going to enter outlook.exchange-outitgoes.com. And in the username field, we're going to enter exchange at craigcotter.co.uk. And then we're going to select more settings. 
and the connection tab and then we're going to tick connect to Microsoft Exchange using HTTP we're going to hit the exchange proxy settings button and then in this URL we're going to enter exchange.outitgoes.com notice the two servers were slightly different there's outlook.exchange-outitgoes.com and exchange.outitgoes.com for authentication we need to ensure that NTLM authentication is selected and we're going to hit OK and apply and then next and then it's popped up with our password request and with this done our exchange mailbox will be fully set up